Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine products with valid serial numbers. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Pandas schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called products with three different columns: product ID, product name, description. The product ID column is the unique key for this table. Each row in this table represents a product with its unique ID, name, and description. We are asked to write a solution to find all the products whose description contains a valid serial number pattern. A valid serial number follows these particular rules. It should start with the letters capital S N, that is case case sensitive, followed by exactly four digits. It must have a hyphen followed by exactly four digits again. The serial number must be within the description. That is, it may not necessarily start at the beginning. We are asked to return the result table ordered by product ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. Here, what we have is we have five different products, right, and their description. So, which of these contain a valid serial number? It says it should start with S N, then exactly four digits. Followed by a hyphen and then exactly four digits. So this one, first one is a valid serial number. Second one as well. Third one is not because it is not followed by exactly four digits after hyphen. It is five digits, right? So it's not a valid. Here you do not have any number. And finally, if you look at this one, the fifth one, it is also a valid serial number. So if we look at in our output, we have first one, second one, and fifth one. Okay, so this is a question where we need to use regular expressions to basically find out these patterns. So let's look at how can we solve this question. So from this table called products, we need to keep only those rows where the description column, right? So description, and we need to match a regex pattern. So regxp. Right, and then what's the pattern? It says the pattern should start with S N, not the description, right? Because if you look at point number one and four together, the serial number must be within the description. It may not necessarily start at the beginning. So if the it should start at the beginning, if that is what the question was asking, you need to use the caret sign. But here it could be within the description as well, not necessarily starting with it. So the first two letters should be S N. case sensitive followed by exactly four digits how do we do exactly four digits so digits could be between 0 to 9 so we specify a character range with square brackets so 0 to 9 this thing signifies one such digit what do we need we need exactly four how can we do that exactly four we need to add a quantifier in curly brackets so four it will say that okay exactly four digits then it says must be followed by a hyphen hyphen is a special character in regular expression if we want to match hyphen in its literal meaning we need to use a scape sequence that is slash and then hyphen so it will basically say start with sn followed by four digits then a hyphen then again four digits so you can basically say that okay just copy this again paste it here now there is a problem with this but let me go ahead and run this and i will show you what the problem is okay let me go ahead and run this thing so if you look at our output what we have here is in this output you also are able to filter such rows where you have sn four digits hyphen and then you have four digits but here you have five different digits right so which is a wrong thing so basically after you have these four digits you need to only have exactly four digits so after these four digits either there is something else maybe you have a space character like right? as you see here right as you see in the last one as well or it is at the end of it so what we need to make sure is it should be anything but a digit so how do you do anything but a digit so in the character range we define character range using square brackets so if you write 0 to 9 but if you start it with a caret 
सो अ कैरेट विद इन स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट बेसिकली निगेट वॉट एवर फॉलोज इट सो एनीथिंग बट अ नंबर एंड इट शुड बी वन और मोर टाइम्स राइट एट लीस्ट वन और मोर टाइम्स एंड इट इंक्लूड यू नो केसेज लाइक दिस वेर यू हैव अ स्पेस वेर यू हैव अ स्पेस और इट कुड बी एनी अदर वर्ड एक्सेट्रा इट डज नॉट मैटर एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज नॉट अ नंबर और फॉर दीज केसेज राइट सो हेयर इफ यू सी Five, six, seven, eight, and there is an end. There is no space, even though it is written like this. But there is no space after it. So in that case, if I go ahead and run this, it is not going to match this. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get. So if you look at this, our output, you see, even though this was a valid sequence number, it did not match that, right? Why? Because it says anything but a number one at least once, right? So what you need to make sure this. there are possibilities of these kind of examples as well where it will basically have four digits after hyphen and then end so either this or it is the end part right so how do you signify end you need to use dollar sign and this entire thing is either this or that so you need to group them together so that this or character only says that okay either you have a non digit character once or more if not there is a possibility of these kind of examples as well so you have a end of the sequence so now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so even though this is accepted it's not complete yet but now if you look at it it matches these kind of examples as well as the examples that it matched before so now you have all the possible combinations but in our output we need to order this by product id in ascending order so order by product id in ascending order let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we get in our output so yeah now this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases or not yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah even though it says easy but it's kind of tricky in in the sense that you need to have somewhat knowledge of how to write regular expression patterns what does you know character ranges mean what does quantifiers mean how to you know use the literal value of characters which have special meaning in regular expression what does caret sign inside a character range versus outside mean right how to group stuff etc so in no way this is a easy question but yeah it's straight forward if you know regular expression so i hope this makes sense let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video